Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today will be my first uh, reptile video on, uh, on YouTube concerning my turtles. Now these are my African Sidenecks or Pelometusa Subrufa. Now I have uh, seven in total. I started out with three of them. Got them from a buddy of mine who couldn't uh, take care of them anymore. Uh, I bought a few more and now I have a group of seven. So the previous stop, which I will be showing now in the video, it, uh, it got too small, it was good for three turtles and good as a grow out, but for seven ones it's too, too small. Also because some are getting bigger and of a mature age and uh, they deserve an upgrade. Now what did I do? I did this using wood bending because I have a round top and this enclosure is located in my bird room and I do not want dirty stuff to fall in. Now you see already I have some like nesting material that fell out of the cages or seeds or something like that and now it falls on top of this wire, this, uh, this fly uh, gauze or mosquito gauze or whatever falls on top of this and not in the water so the water stays clean now uh, I will show you the process of uh, how I did this so this is the top we will be using and uh, all the materials here so I will use this bucket probably as a sand island if it isn't too high when the lid is up but we'll see about it because I have one bucket which is about uh, two centimeters that's about an inch lower than this one so maybe I'll, I'll use another one or find something else we'll see about that and of course I will uh, remove these things from it but uh, that's something for a later stage now this stuff is when I fill it up about 250 liters the other one it's about 25 liters, so the turtles will get an upgrade uh, 10 times the size, which will be very nice for them. Now, uh, let's get to work with this. So this is the first time I'm doing a wood bending and um, apparently it doesn't go as planned. Now um, I've called someone for a tip and he said to drench the wood in water before bending it. So that we will, I will do on the other side and we'll see how that goes. Now um, see you in a bit when I try that I guess. So we're the next morning and this is what I got now. Um, I started wetting the wood yesterday and just starting over with the other wood I had and I realized I just didn't have enough clamps because the space between the clamps was too large. Now um, I had to go somewhere in the afternoon, I had an appointment and last night I finished uh, it so far. Now it isn't glued yet so that's what I will do next and let, let it dry till tomorrow and then do the other side. I think this is better since the wood has had the night to already set a bit. It probably will be easier to glue it, but uh, we'll see about that, of course. Now uh, I'll get started again and, uh, well, see you in a bit. So I uh, applied the glue, also uh, spread it out and uh, added the clamps again. Now I think it's okay now, so normally the glue should cure for 24 hours. 
so I will just leave it until tomorrow and then uh, I'll do the other side and uh, hopefully by uh, tomorrow we will be able to uh, add the wire and the fire gas to it and uh, in two to three days I hope uh, the turtles will be able to get in but uh, I'm happy it finally worked at my third attempt now so uh, quite happy about it now uh, let's hope it works I will probably add some screws into the wood also because I'm not really confident that the glue alone will hold but we'll see about that so uh, well for me it will be another day for you it will be just a few seconds so uh, all right so at the moment we've gotten this far I need to trim back those uh, pieces of wood here so we just have this bow I will always oh, oh, also excuse me also put the piece of wood in between here you see where the line is to fortify it now it's also like I said put together extra with screws because for the first time wood bending didn't go that bad I guess but I did put a clamp here with extra glue to be sure because you see there the wood broke a little bit but it's okay this one is the second I my second attempt I tried to recycle the wood for the first attempt and let it uh, and glued it and let it set an extra day actually so uh, I hope when I put the clamps off it will be good as well and we'll put the uh, wood from side to side an extra piece in between it put the hinges on it and then uh, prepare the bucket of sand and then uh, I'll of course put the mesh on it because that's the reason we're making all this and then we're done so uh, let me get to work again on this So this is how we got so far, we put the hinges on there, I put the extra piece of wood in between and I did this. Now this was the first try of wood and that wood cracked and while uh, screwing it together, well you see it, uh, it's a bit crooked and I will still uh, put it together but you see this uh, piece of wood is too short uh, for this it's other than the other one it's different from the other one to speak uh, so I will make a bigger one for it now there's only one uh, door or set of hinges I will need constantly normally so then I will be using that one and this well we'll see how long it holds on and if it doesn't hold on for rather long then I'll make another one or I'll just screw the wire into the top, I guess. Uh, we'll see about that. But uh, for now I will uh, go trim the edges off. Screw it on top of it. But uh, first I will also sand it a bit so it's more even and the excess glue is gone. And uh, I will also rinse out the sand already. And I have this bucket here. Uh, like I said, so this bucket uh, will be, which will be their sand and sunbathing island. Now this I will try to get out. If it don't get it out, I will just trim this piece off. But I'll we'll see about it. Now we'll fill this up with sand to the, the top and put it inside, and uh, also put the excess sand I have on the bottom so they have a nice substrate to burrow in. It's just river sand, by the way from the local Home Depot. Um, I've bought 
75 kilos that's about 150 pounds i guess so normally that would be sufficient if i have eggs as well that's just spare sand i can use because when you clean it out you lose a bit of sand so i can add some sand but we'll see uh, maybe i need everything I, I don't know actually but i do want the turtles to have a big uh, layer of substrate to burrow in since it are actually swamp or mud turtles and they like to burrow in the sand so i will like to provide that for them now uh, i'll see you when i uh, put this all together And we are done. I've put the turtles in here, all seven. I've let them adjust a day before filming this so they are comfortable in their new enclosure. And you see, I uh, placed a piece of wood in here too. So they can get on this and, and go on their sand island. I did put a bit too much water in it, but they can sunbathe on it. Uh, they have a UV and a heat uh, lamp and uh, they can put a racks in there if they want. Now I've got a tip uh, from someone with experience with these turtles to breed them that there should be a bigger height difference between the water level and the sand island. So I do not think they will breed this year. but. For next year I will make sure that the water level is a bit lower or the sand island a bit higher if that's even possible because you see for the turtles this is more than enough space but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I make it higher <laughs> it will be the case anymore. Now um, I must say these turtles I have never seen them sunbathe. Now they have their heat lamp, they have their UVB lamp but I've never seen them actually sunbathe. So, yeah, I think they will, or they do it when I'm not around. But anyway, if they don't, well, they have it, they can use it. So that's not a big, different, big deal. Now you see also here is the sand uh, not as, as deep and it, it does need to clear out a little bit because it's still a bit dusty. But uh, here I have a big, sand layer and you can see like I can put my hand in there the turtles will do the same and burrow in there to hide or to just I'll dive into the sand and uh, so I want them to be able to do that now of course they run or swam away actually now I will try to get them to come out the other side well, there is one I will try to get it now, so this is one of my African side necks. Beautiful little turtle. Now this already is a um, semi-adult. It's still juvenile, but it's starting to get there because from what I have learned, these animals can get well, like this big. They can get a little bigger. The males get around, I think 12, 13, 14, 15 centimeters, something like that when they're adults. Females can get up to 20 centimeters. I've heard there are exemptions of females getting larger, but normally 20 centimeters is the biggest, what I've heard. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, so this is one of my males. It's not the biggest one I have, but it's one in here that's bigger, that's a female, but this is one of my first and it's a very beautiful turtle. Now what I also do is before I put them in the water, I just do not just drop them in, put them on the sand island and they can go in the water on their own. So they can take a breath before they, they dive in on their own. Uh, I think that's a better way than just dropping them in. Now uh, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope uh, 
it was clear how I, uh, how I built this. Leave a comment down below, I really appreciate that. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And see you in the next video.